And let's start uh, on the north end of town with mm -hmm. Sao Lorenzo. Um, shot here from, I guess, the Pizza Mobile area, <laughs> <laughs> which is a great place to be. Yeah. Um, on a smaller day, it's a sort of a friendly wall. Tell us a little it's bit a about it, please. It's, it's amazing because not many people surf it. So sometimes you go to Cosas or Rivera, it's super crowded and you forget about San Lorenzo, but uh, sometimes it's pumping and or really fun and just a few guys out or sometimes no one. So yeah. it's worth it going to check it every day yeah. when the conditions are clean. Uh, yeah, when it's too small, it breaks a little bit deeper and that peak is really fun. And when it gets bigger, it breaks a little bit more to the channel. So, and a lot of water, so you have to surf a little a bigger board. Yeah. A step up is necessary here, it's gonna help catching more waves. Yeah. But there's a super deep channel, so there's no problem. You can just pile out and be, if it's big, you can be in the channel and, and you know, don't risk it. But, but yeah, it's a great wave to to surf by yourself and and avoid the crowds and yeah. so it's a long way if you can do some curves and uh, some s also steep sections so it's better than the people think and yeah. the right direction yeah mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's some really good insights. Yeah. Uh, worth also noting that the shore can be sort of heavy at times. Yeah, sometimes the, when the bank is good, there's a left here and a right and also a left here. Yeah. But depends on the banks. It changes a lot with, in the winter with the rain and the river. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, um, this shore can be sketchy. Get <laughs> piling <yes>. out. Tricky. <laughs> yeah, piling Why may I be? Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like you said, a big channel, easy to get in and out. Mm. Apart from that shore, that, that's worth uh, keeping an eye on. 